Okay, so just so everybody knows, we're live, and so it's tonight's a special tri-board meeting to uh, talk about a few things and move things along. So our first item on the agenda was to talk about the collector, treasurer, treasurer, collector advisory committee and make appointments for that. So I'll start off. Just on what the committee is, we did talk about something more expanded than that, and I want to make sure that, and it's, I did see it in the selection of minutes that we were talking about, and larger. if you still want to just call it the treasurer or collector, but we were just going to be looking at um, the financial management in general, in context of financial Yes, I mean, we can okay. do you want to change the name for that? I mean, as long as you as know. As long as it's understood. No, yes. School committee is quiet. Yes. All right, so the select board voted uh, to uh, appoint myself as our representative. Mm -hmm. also we won't rescind that at all. <laughs> Thank you. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Tally ho. <laughs> Finance committee uh, is Lynn McKenna is going to serve on the. Okay. And then school committee. Mm -hmm. Is it like the person who's not here gets nominated? Yeah, that's right. We check. <laughs> <laughs> and then we wanted to do one person from, and then actually we wanted to do the, the acting treasurer and the collector, mm -hmm. and we wanted to appoint them. And I've talked to both of them, and they are okay with that. I must say, when I went. Say something else now. And then we wanted one member from the community who had finance, and then one member from outside. And I struck out with mine, so. Um, we'd like to put in uh, Frank Aquadro as a former finance committee member. He uh, understands the, the finances, but he's not currently uh, assigned to anything in town. So as a um, citizen? As, as the, uh, we had two other positions. One is the someone with, I, I can't resident. remember how it is, uh, a, a resident with financial mm -hmm. background who is not currently a, an official position. And then the other one, one was someone outside Hadley with financial Finish. background. And then did we come up with the, uh, did Linda, Linda actually came up? I uh, had put it in an email. Uh, she said Joe Markarian was willing to serve. Oh, that'd be great. Who's, who's Joe, Markarian? Joe Markarian? Formerly with the DOR. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, excellent. <coughs> so then, of course, everyone who volunteers or is on this committee knows that they uh, get an extra stipend for doing this. <laughs> we'll pay for one parking ticket in Hadley if you get a Parking ticket. Watch out! Be careful when you're processing. Watch out! You may have to be stripped of that. We'll send them cookies. Who was the school committee representative? Linda Dunleavy. Linda. All right. So recap: select select board members, myself, Linda Dunleavy for the school committee. Lynn McKenna for finance. Um, tre the acting treasurer, the collector, um, Frank, Frank Aquadro, and Bill McKinn. Joe. 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 John. John. So those would be the members of this group. Mm -hmm. And then the goal is to look at the DOR recommendations on combining the positions of treasurer, collector, and then also to look at the overall financial operations as we have them, how we work with that combination or without that combination. Can I sum it up okay? Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. All right, so are we all in agreement that that's who the committee shall be? Sure. Yes. Sounds okay. good to me. It's an right. advisory committee. It's an advisory committee. So if you could take a vote to appoint the memberships and so move. determine whether it's for a term or an ad hoc committee, that would be fine. So for an ad hoc committee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And then, so we have a motion. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to second it out there? So is, this, is this a tri board? Yes, no. tri board. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Do we want any instructions for them as to a timeline when to report back? I know it's you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we probably do need to put something together for instructions. Um, I didn't really get anything together for tonight. Well, I guess the, sub the simplest instructions that we would give the committee is to first re review all DOR recommendations for both positions. Um, and then once they've done that review, they should look at um, if things need to be separated and, and then basically set the outline, I would think, for the positions. Is that correct? I think so. Isn't that pretty much what has to be done? There's some overlap and some stuff that they don't want one doing and the other one. I think that's what, what you have to get through first. You have to know what you're looking for and then set it from there. I think you had laid out at the last meeting kind of a general timeline that it didn't need to be, if I'm correct, it didn't need to be rushed for this spring. No, I don't think so. Right. But it would be good to have something, a preliminary, maybe the end of March. At the, at the last meeting, there was some discussion between do we have to have it at an annual or do we have to go through the general court, the legislature, to, to get this and to redefine that so that we know where we're headed. So um, your, your best course is to do um, a special act of legislation because it, uh, it will, it will, you'll be able to craft that special legislation so that it will pr provide you with the arrangement that you want uh, and it will affirm uh, who has authority over the position as opposed to making it uh, 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 taking the regular uh, course which is simply to make a change from elected to appointed. Uh, if, if we go that route how long does it take to get through the general court? If you can uh, if you could be submitting the legislation at the uh, fall town meeting then it could be uh, signed by the governor by January 2016. So it can be submitted at any at annual or fall town meeting. Right. I would okay. I would recommend that you that you wait till the fall town meeting in order to craft exactly what it is that you're looking for. Because you're going to have to live with this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I see. We're going to have to have a few little meetings and opens to the public. Let them come tell us your views on it. Mm -hmm. So that, that would probably be the best way to go, I would think. It would be, I would think it'd be an awful large task to have it done for the annual town meeting. I mean, it's getting through the budget cycle is going to be enough, and then you throw that on top of it. I don't think it's realistic. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it by annual. Plus, some people have questions. We wouldn't Right. So maybe we, for the first, we'll try to have an update by the end of March and where we are and what we've done, and and then move on from then, because that gives us a month to actually look two months, a month and a half to look at everything and go from there. Maybe you can even map out those milestones that you just described right. to see what next spring's elections would, how those would be affected by whatever decision, if you have approval by January. We could do, yeah, we could probably work on that. Is there any comments over there from the acting treasurer? Okay. Uh, you think that's doable? We're the, I think we're the only two in here that are members of this yes, you are. committee, so. Well, when are we having our first meeting? We have to decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess I guess that's where we are. You know, how we'll, we'll run with that. And then our second item was to talk about the position. Um, well, we have talked more about the position as recommended by DOR. I mean, <coughs> We have a section of the DOR report here that talked more about merging the two positions. 
and then making them appointed versus versus elected. I don't think we really need to talk any more about it, do we? Or? Not until after the six meetings. And where do we go next? At least the treasurer is here present in our building all the time compared to some other areas. You didn't see it on the news this week, probably. We'll talk about it later. Mm. Joan's here all the time, as was Connie. In our news or some other no, news? Other news, community, other community. Other community. Yeah. Yes, there. Oh. He's now a part time. Yeah. Can we just, um, I guess the only question I have is, can we just walk through the, the timing? So if we um, do the, Special. if in fact the recommendation is to move forward and um, we determine that we want to do the special, um, act of special legislation. So we're talking about fall town meeting, potentially having the governor, governor sign that in January of 2016 um, at the election this spring the treasurer's position is up for a one year mm -hmm. right? yes so and the collector's up for a three year and the collector's up for a three year so the one year seems to be less of an issue but in the situation where somebody is elected to a position for three years and during their term the position is changed through a special act of legislation to be an appointed position. Mm -hmm. What what actually happens at that point with that elected position then terminate due to the special act of legislation? Just like the sewer commissioners do. Right. That time. So mm -hmm. it would change when the DPW went in. Yeah, so it doesn't effect. have to line up with. It does not. Yeah. Okay. So, I just want to be clear on that. So in Deerfield, when we did, uh, when we changed from uh, elected to appointed for the position of combined treasurer, collector, and clerk. Um, we've, we've, we ran, went out it a couple of different ways, and one of the ways that we talked about was that uh, people would fill out their term and then the legislation would take effect. So there are terms and conditions that you can write into the special act of legislation that will spell out that transition, whether it be a sudden one where the position is, is laid down and a new position is created, or is there a gradual phase in? Mm -hmm. So I think it would be important then going into the election season that whoever's planning on running um, should be made aware that this is under discussion and it's a possibility. It, again, however, ultimately it winds up. They are under, they are aware. Yeah, uh, <laughs> formally, I mean, I think we should really. Well, I think Joan be, is aware of that and I think uh, Sue is aware of that, correct Joan? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, whoever's running, right? Right. It's right. always an open field, so you never know. So we just want I to be said clear John on that. And Sue were running. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's safe to say. I don't, who would want to? Well, that's up to them. It's iffy. So then, this committee ad hoc, do we actually have to be sworn in? Mm -hmm. So then we need to go ahead and get our. The appointment letters. Also. We'll get the appointment letters, and get the open meeting law, and the uh, ethics laws, and all the public stuff. records, and all that good stuff. Yes. I enjoy that part. All right. So, is there anything else about the. No? That was basically it. We have, we have for this little meeting. We finished early. You can we talk about it next trip. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It feels good job. job. <laughs> it's Brian's idea. He was yours. <laughs> so we are. We we've been doing these the first of the month instead of the second meeting of the month. So the next meeting would be the fourth of February yeah. for the tri board. Six o'clock. Do we want to set March's meeting too? Because it's easy, because it'd be the fourth too. Right. Okay, so we set that for. We did already. So do we want what do we want to put on the agenda? Or? We have a school budget proposal. I don't know if that's 
I was doing the select part. Yeah. 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 So we'll write this at It starts at 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. So the tri board would be the 6 o'clock school presentation? No, it's the same night, though. Is this, that this, my understanding is the school budget is being presented to the select board on the 18th of February. That's what I thought. Okay. okay. It was the 4th, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, we rescheduled it. There's a birthday in there. Yeah. We talked about meeting to do the top 10 list of areas of attention for the budget. Well, that's right. Like that yeah. was the last meeting. Expenses or revenue ideas, I guess, in the deficit. Yes. So will this change by then? No, no, that's not that I'm aware of. So top 10. Would you call or it a punch list? Name for it? Yeah. Yeah. Top 10 initiatives to address the deficit. Top 10 areas of concern. Mm -hmm. Second meeting scheduled for a budget? Yeah, so with, uh, the, uh, on the 11th, we're talking public works, and the enterprise funds, and the Council on Aging. We'll put the Council on Aging first. Council on Aging first. So actually, what, we're going to run down the schedule of what the presentations are. Um, the, tonight we're hearing from police and co um, communications. Uh, the fourth, we're doing the Town Hall Department's TV5 Park and Rec Historic Commission. Uh, the 11th, we're doing Council on Aging and Public Works and the Enterprise Funds. On the 18th, we're doing education. Um, on the 4th, we're doing the inspections. And on the 11th, we're doing the warrant articles. And I'm trying to reschedule fire. And. Um, On the fourth is library as well. February or March? February, uh, February, eighth, uh, February eighteenth, uh, school March fourth would be library, park and rec, and uh, TP five. All right. And then we have in our book is all the budgets. Yeah. Right. So the budget book that that I produced today. <coughs> We're still having, uh, we're still entering numbers into VADAR, having some issues there, but uh, by next week we should have that all complete. Um, a couple of features about this book that it's impossible in VADAR. One is that you have a expenditure and uh, revenue comparison so that you see where the balance is or imbalance is. Um, the select board asks that each budget that has payroll be produced at level funded at a 2% COLA and a COLA and STEP just to see what the numbers are. And VADAR can't do with that, so this budget has those presentations for each of those departments that has a payroll in it. So ba basically, the numbers we've been getting through email are the same that are here? They should be the same. School, you guys want another copy? 
We're going sure. to be posting this on the web and uh, electronic copies will be available. Okay. Should we send one to Lynn or do you see her on the basis? I'll take I'll, I'll take care of it. We'll yeah. take care of it. So, just because I didn't bring it with me, how does, uh, very preliminary, but what, how, what does this preliminary budget look like relative to the five year projection for the, um, The budget, is, <coughs> you know, the budget in some cases is higher than the five-year projection, uh, in some cases lower because of changing circumstances in the last couple of months. Um, the, um, the numbers in general are around where we had thought that they might be for FY16 uh, based upon the five-year projection. If you go with my recommendation as opposed to the budgets that were submitted. Yeah, no, I, I was asking the budgets as submitted, so they're probably some of them lower. were much much higher. Okay. Yeah. So I trimmed their sales a bit. Mm -hmm. well, we still have to start start negotiations with our unions. Right. right. The letters to the three unions have gone out, so they have a they're legally obliged to be back in touch with us on a fairly short uh, notice. And the schools have already started talking to their groups, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the teachers. Yeah. Is there, how many unions is there? The school. Three? Three. Who's the other one? Um, the uh, paraprofessional stuff. So All the department. Same. Yeah. Yeah. So are the town and the school coordinating their, uh, in some way, meeting? We're talking a little bit, but I guess we also need to, as a group, maybe the next, as we talked about the, the top 10 issues we want to talk about for the budget, that's probably something we should talk a little bit more in the next tri-board meeting. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're, the select board has been talking among ourselves about things we want to mm -hmm. see, things we're concerned about and want to see in, the, in, our, in our contracts, and then probably once we get that a little more ironed out from us, we'll probably come back over with some more information to talk to the school committee about what we're kind of worried about and see how they feel about it too. It, do, it, deal, it deals with a lot of things besides. Um, I don't know what to ask, but I think we can't talk about some of it. Isn't that collusion? No. No, not, I don't, I mean, I think if you're collectively agreeing to take a specific position, mm -hmm. but a sharing of information should certainly be allowed. You're both the town. Is yeah. that what you're suggesting? There's a conflict? No, if it's like a almost like a, a, a monopoly sort of yeah, yeah. inclusive behavior where you're price fixing kind of thing or something. Well, yeah, they're, like if we, if we can, the next tri board meeting, if I made a motion, and everybody said, Yeah, yeah let's run with it. I guess you can't do that. Yeah. But sharing information and strategizing. Yeah. Oh, I thought you might actually even have a joint executive session meeting or something to, uh, about what Ooh, the town's policies were. session. I know. <laughs> 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 that, that's what I don't know if that's actually allowable. I don't know. Oh, it is a contract I don't negotiation know. strategy? But it's two boards with different unions. I don't know if that's... You can't. Well, we can't talk about it in open session if it's negotiation. That's right. Okay. So, mix that one. Well, it could be talked about among chairs. <laughs> Well, I don't know, we'll have further discussion. Yeah, we have to talk about it more. But I guess the sooner or later we'll have something. Well, well, Go so, ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry, you had your hand up first. Before we get into the budgets, can we agree on some procedure to incorporate the five year plan and the numbers that I see versus? The numbers I see coming forward just from the last, the, the first the first three budgets that I'm looking at is close to a $300,000 increase over what we have for the FY 2016. 
And if we go with the 2016 numbers that we have, that leads us to rather large deficits in 17, 18, 19. Can, can we, as a tri board, try to figure out some way to put this in perspective so that we're not just looking at the immediate numbers that everybody wants, but looking at the five-year projection? I think we've kind of all agreed that the five-year projection is our starting point, and then 2% over that, and then any, anything beyond that. No, no, not but no, 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 no. You, you, may have, we, you may have put that out as a goal to the departments, yeah. but if you go with a 2% increase this year, you're still looking at deficits with the oh, yes. numbers. You know, we're not, we're not we, we projecting these numbers, yeah. but these numbers go 200, 400, 600 to a million two. Okay. That's the and, and, that's, and that's assuming that we go with a 2% level. So that's not addressing, to me, that's not addressing the five-year plan. That's getting us through the next 12 months and then sitting here going, now what do we do? Um, I, think, I think as we go through this process, we'll actually see it all, all come together um, a little more because we know we have the deficit. I, I waited breathless anticipation for this. If I could just feel a little more <laughs> that, that we're all looking at the same numbers and well, seeing the same impact. Oh, I think we all see the exact yes. same impact. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure because I don't want to get to the point where you think we've cobbled together a budget only to have the finance committee sit here at the end going, there's, there's just no way. No, I, I don't think yeah. we, we okay. have that. Yeah. All right. We're in this together. We're in this together. We've all, all right. started from a starting point, and we've all kind of given little guidelines, and we, we're going to the next step. And yes, it's a baby step right now, I see, and it's a scary step if you go beyond that. I think there'll be more clarity at the meeting where we talk about kind of the top 10, right? That was the point. I'm sorry, say again? The top, your top 10 financial areas, areas concern. concerned. Okay. We do, we do know we have some issues. We do know we have some shortfalls, even in the, we know we have at least one issue in, the, in our five-year plan that wasn't addressed. I think we have a couple. But well, okay. One we know we don't even have a number in there. It's correct for the, you know, the police side. We, don't, we know that number for the chief's wrong because we cut it back to meet the budget requirements of last year. Right. So I know that one. There might be a couple more. That's the big one. I see. As we're coming up with our top ten, did everyone receive Linda Dunlavy's uh, December 3rd report? on uh, what the subcommittee had come up with. I know she brought it to a meeting, but I don't know if it, if it went out electronically to those who weren't here. Thank you. You, did, you don't recognize Electronic. it? Electronic. Okay. It was a report from the subcommittee, right? Yeah, from the subcommittee, December 3rd. Yeah. yeah. About I some, I don't a lot of ideas. Electronic copy, but they okay. I know there is one. Yeah. She may have just sent it to, to us, us on the subcommittee. So. Mm -hmm. I'll go forward. I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask send her an email and see if she can send it around. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we dismissed? Is that <laughs> yes. We decide if we're dismissed as a group. Yes. I think, yeah, it's 7 o'clock. Is there anything else we want to talk about? Motion to adjourn. No one seconded. Second. <laughs> second. Yeah, we are going to stay in section. <laughs> okay. All right. All in favor of adjourning the tri board? Aye. 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 See you next.